Hello everyone. This is introduction to digital, digital oscilloscope. As you can see, we have menus here. There are six buttons. We call it menus. And then a vertical section for channel 1 and channel 2. We have two input channels, channel 1, channel 2. And this is the vertical section for channel 1. These are the vertical section for channel 2. This button is for common between channel 1 and channel 2. And we have a horizontal section. And at the moment, let's not worry about the triggering. So now what I'm going to do is this oscilloscope has an inbuilt signal generator which generates square waves with 5 volts of amplitude. I'm going to connect that to channel 1. So connect the probe to channel 1. And I'm going to connect this black probe to the ground and the red to the square wave. As you can see, the square wave appears here. So what I have selected is channel 1 so there is a square wave in channel 1 and then when I select channel 2 there is nothing in channel 2 and this position corresponds to vertical movement of signal in channel 1 and this is for vertical position corresponds to signal in channel 2. So as I move this, as you can see the signal is moving up and down. And when you see here these little square boxes is what we call it one unit. And let's see how to measure the voltage. Very simple thing that you can do is move the position so that the waveform rests on one of the units and you can just count how many units this waveform covers so in this case it covers exactly one unit and here it says that channel 1 is 5 volts per unit so that means one unit into 5 volts is the amplitude 5 volts to measure the time one unit here is 500 microseconds so this is 500 microseconds and this is 500 microseconds so the complete waveform takes 1000 microseconds or 1 millisecond so if you want to find the frequency it's going to be 1 divided by 1 millisecond will be your frequency you can measure this in another way as well just press this measure button here in the menu it gives the options for us to measure it says the source I can use this button to select the type of source and just press this measure button as you can see the channel 1 is selected the channel 1 time period as it shows 1 millisecond and these buttons are not set if I want I can set them to channel 1 frequency maybe this button I can use it to set a channel 1 a mean or a peak to peak voltage or an RMS voltage so there are a lot of options all these can be changed by selecting these buttons we can make these fields to display any of these period frequency peak to peak voltage RMS voltage or any of these and this part of the CRO is what we call it a horizontal section in horizontal section you can move the waveform horizontally and when you change this you can see the waveforms get compressed or it gets expanded But even though it, it appears to be displaying 
with a shorter time period, but the actual waveform property stays the same. The frequency, time period, everything stays the same. As you can see, even after reducing, still you can see the time period as one millisecond and the frequency is almost one kilohertz. So this is just a different view. It's like zooming into a waveform or just going out, something like that. Similarly, this control can make display smaller waveforms visually bigger but the voltage still is the same now when i put it in when i put it at this scale and it says that one unit is 1 volts now when i measure 1 2 3 4 5 the entire waveform covers 5 units and 1 volt per unit so when i multiply the unit with this 5 into 1 still it's a 5 volt waveform so similar similarly the time period so when i change to this like sometimes it's very difficult to to mark the starting and ending so we can use the cursor so when i press cursor there is something like that this coming up I can use this cursor to set, to set the starting point and ending point of this waveform. So when I do that, you can see a delta displayed here. So the delta is the time between these two. And it says the time between these two is one millisecond and its frequency is one kilohertz. So the same cursor that we use to measure the time can be used to measure the voltage. All that we need to do is when you press cursor, it opens a cursor menu here. It says it asks time, type time. So when I press this button again, it says type off. When I press this button again, it says voltage. So when this is voltage, the cursor that appears vertically will now appear horizontally. So I can move this cursor up and down. So when I set it between these two, it says the measured voltage is 5.04 volts.